day to day. And some people told me I do too much or I do an awful lot and they're so right. I do and I don't even question it myself. I don't even realize how hard I try. I've had to struggle so much over the last years. I'm so used to it. I think I'm lazy if I stay in bed. I guess I've been told one time too many when I was a kid. And my husband doesn't help. Not that he makes me work, not at all. But his only way of dealing with things and, and of spending the days work, 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 work. So when I see him work, I feel lazy if I don't do anything, even if he doesn't intend to make me feel that way. Quick update, today I went to see the oncologist and the cardiologist. Um, as far as my heart is concerned, there's nothing to worry about, I'm perfectly fine. So the reason why I've been short of breath is just due to the chemotherapy. Oncologist told me um, I'm going to see her back in January. I'm not going to have any scans because there would be no point in my case. Um, just regular blood checks uh, to check the tumour markers and some other parameters. Uh, so basically I'm ready to start recovery now and I'm really looking forward to some Finally, normal weeks. Um, what else is there to be said? Um, the shortness of breath has subsided mainly, although from time to time I still get short-winded when I uh, just stand, but I guess that will get better in time. Mm, so yeah, finally I'm done. Hello, it's now Sunday. And as you can see, my hair's grown a lot. I'm still tired. Um, I can't do much. It isn't over. It's only beginning. Somehow, I need to find a way to get back to something that feels normal. And right now, I can't do that. I'm too tired, too exhausted, too weak, too breathless. And there's nothing I can do about that. Hello, it's now Monday. Yesterday we um, went for a pancake and a drink with friends. Um, just had a phone call from a 
colleague whose sister is, has been diagnosed with um, liver cancer. Um, Hello, it's um, Tuesday evening. Um, this morning we went shopping. This afternoon as well. I was a bit tired, but it was fine. And then um, I started having these joint pains. And um, I'm really not feeling well. I'm feeling a bit sick. I don't know. It ain't over until it's over. On Tuesday, I decided it was time to start cleaning up my home study and this is the result. A lifetime of, well, lifetime, 34 years of books all put into boxes and I actually carried them myself. Hello. Today's um, the 4th of November and I decided to go for a walk. Um, I also tried the same walk last week and it didn't go well. I was very short of breath and very tired and I hardly made it back home. Um, as you know, I live in the Flemish Ardennes and the landscape here is quite hilly so I've already climbed the hill near our house near our home and that went pretty well so I think this time the walk will go well even though I wasn't feeling up to it just before I left I thought oh no I'm so tired um, so hopefully fresh air will do me good and uh, I'll feel better when I get home. I'm seeing uh, the rehab doctor tomorrow and after that one of uh, the psychologists because I'm going to start rehabilitation somewhere in December I think it will be and on the 2nd of December I have to go to Ghent because right now my sick leave has come to an end, came to an end in, in June and they have to decide if and when I have to go back to work. Now to be honest I only have a couple of years left before I retire and I really hope they won't send me back because I don't feel up to it at all. Um, I will have been absent for a year and a half by the time I can go back so there's really not much point to that so fingers crossed that I get early retirement just wanted to show you my surroundings because this is a lovely lovely corner here this is typical for the Flemish Ardennes the hilly landscape So I'll uh, get back to you a little bit further along the walk. Well, it's looking like rain 
there's a lot of rain coming my way. Oh, the little donkey. Look at you. Hello. Yeah. Better put on my my hat. Sorry. My nose is dripping. <laughs> I've got two hats actually. One to keep warm and the other one for the rain. So that's better. Um it's quite cold for the time of year actually. It's only about nine degrees. But I'm well dressed and I'm not cold at all. Um what else did I want to talk about? Oh yes, the week. Actually this week was um, has been a lot better than uh, last week. I was really exhausted last week, wasn't up to anything. Um, very short of breath still. That has improved a whole lot in just one week, so I think I'm on the mend as far as that's concerned. Um, this week, um, Tuesday, because Monday was All Saints Day, but on Tuesday uh, we went out for brunch with some very good friends. And the reason we did that was um, on YouTube I saw a number of videos. That I'll, uh, I'll interrupt here just to show you the beautiful, beautiful landscape here behind me. Not sure you you can see it on on camera because it's quite rainy. It's so beautiful here. Uh, the other side too. Um, the reason we did it, I saw on YouTube that in Anglo-Saxon countries, there's a custom when you end your chemotherapy that um, you get to ring a bell and that's the official end. Unfortunately in, in Belgium and in Europe we, we don't have that tradition. Uh, so for myself I really wanted a symbolic end to my therapy and I thought what would be a meaningful end for me personally and the friends came to mind because they have been very supportive uh, a lot of people have been very supportive uh, there's a car coming and nobody my nose is running So a lot of people have been very supportive, uh, but these friends in particular, and um, we had a good talk, uh, and I was I was glad that uh, I could do this. I just look at the street here; it's just beautiful. Just the stones throw away from my home. But it is raining again. Oh well. If I get wet, I'll put on dry clothes when I get home. I'm really glad I came to, to make the walk. I was really hesitant because I thought I might feel very tired again, but I don't think I will. All right. I always keep thinking there's something else I wanted to talk about, but can't really think of anything. Except that the content of the vlog is probably going to change now that um, my therapy has come to an end. So I will post updates on the rehab obviously and perhaps 
weather permitting, we may go for some walks that um, I can document because I do want to show you uh, a little bit more about where I live and what I'm up to. <sighs> but it's really raining now. Uh, ah, well. It's autumn after all. I've just come to this sign and I'm going to show you two signs here in the road behind me just show you if I can yep. here they are a bit difficult the uh, sign at the top where it says Viertel Omegang is a yearly tradition we have here um, it's um, religious in origin um, my hometown used to be a center for treatment of mental illness in the Middle Ages. Well, treatment uh, in the Middle Ages, there wasn't a lot of treatment. Basically what people did was uh, they brought the, their relatives to the church and in the crypt under the church, which is really worth a visit by the way, uh, in the crypt they offered mass while uh, the mentally ill were being bathed. So they had uh, tubs there where the patients could, could have a bath. Uh, and the Viertel um, Omegang commemorates this um, every year in spring there's a long walk, 32 plus kilometers, around the perimeter of the town to protect everybody inside the circle. Unfortunately, people in the surrounding towns say that the patron saint of my hometown, St. Hermes, protects everybody else except the people of my town. So they say we are fools. That's just a little anecdote. Just wanted to show you what the area near our home looks like. So somewhere in those trees is our house. And this may be of interest as well. Um, these are knots and you can go from one knot to the next. So right now we're at point 41 and if you go straight on you cycle to point 92 and if you turn right you will go to point 91. This is a fantastic system if you want to make your own cycle tours. Nearly there, nearly home. And the sun is shining again. I am feeling tired right now, so I'll be really happy to kick off my shoes and put on my pajamas, I think. Snuggle up in the couch with my cat, Temba. If he's not catching mice, that is. So, I'll um, talk to you later. Perhaps add a little clip in tomorrow when I've seen the rehab doctor. And that's when I'll post. This morning I went to see the rehab doctor. She was very kind, very friendly. And uh, next week, Tuesday, she's going to do a test um, to see what my condition is um, at the moment. This morning, she performed a test 
an EMG um, to uh, see if there was any damage um, in in my nerve ends, uh, in my legs. Um, there is a, a bit of damage, but nothing that would bother me or that I would have problems with um, it's due to the chemo. Um, and after that, I also saw a psychologist. Um, I answered a series of questions and then we had a lengthy chat about my motivation um, to take part in the program, which is offered completely free of charge uh, thanks to um, a foundation for cancer patients. So um, I'm really happy that um, this exists, this program, and that I can take part in it. It will start on the 7th of December. So uh, that's probably uh, when I will update next. And uh, to end with, as you can see, my hair is growing back really quickly now. Um, so my hair is growing back really quickly, as you can see. Uh, the weird thing is, it's growing back, but you can hardly see I've got eyebrows um, because all the pigment has disappeared from my hair. So I don't know if it's going to stay that way. I don't really have eyelashes at the moment, so I hope they will come back. So that's all for now. I would like to end by um, thanking all of you for your continued support. It really means a lot to me, all your comments. Um, and I hope you will keep following me um, as, as I progress. Bye for now.